Welcome to the What's New in Cumulostic IoT Data Hub. This covers new features in the second half of 2024. I'm Chris Furlong and I'm the Product Manager for Cumulostic IoT Data Hub. First thing you'll notice when you come into Data Hub is we've made improvements to the home page. What we're trying to show here is what is actually currently going on in Data Hub right now. So we're trying to give the Data Hub Manager rapid overview so you can see how many jobs are running what the kind of the disbursement of the successful jobs look like in times and in time and row count and if they've got any failed jobs and you can also click on the job name and it will dive straight into the the statistics and details of that job that you previously get to from the offloading tab the other area we've made improvements to is the additional columns uh, UI. So now when you add an additional column, you get a completely new UI which helps you build out and sample the data so I can enter the column name I'm interested in and click load sample. Once I do that I'll get some samples of the data but I can then very easily click on an attribute, in this case in a struct, to promote that to be the column I'm interested in. And if necessary I can override the data type or I can let Data Hub automatically choose. Once I've configured that, I can refresh the sample data, change the name if I, rec if I need to, and of course hit save to continue, and then you've added your additional column. So you can still, if you want, directly enter the attribute in the column as you previously could in Data Hub, but if you don't quite know what the data looks like, this is a great way of actually drilling down into the attribute you want to add into an additional column. That's all I had for this. Um, if you've got any further questions, please contact us. Thanks.